The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, 90 days of boxing, day number 65, and oh my god, I mean, can't believe 65 days has passed already, but at the same time, it's like, damn, these uh these 90 days of boxing, especially these last two weeks where boxing's been kind of slow. They've really been taking a toll on your boy BT. And that's why I feel like I've been working a lot slower. There's been less content coming out. I've just been, I've been lazy. I've been burnt out. I'm tired. You know, just whatever. But and nonetheless, I told you guys I give you 90, 90 lives, 90 days in a row. I'm uh, a man of my word. I'm a, I'm a professional. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it happen. But uh, hope, hope everybody's good, man. Hope, hope everybody's good. Hope all is well. Hope everybody's having a... A good Sunday, you know, I'm um, just here. It's been a pretty chill day here in South Florida. Um, get your question, get your questions in, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here. So if you got any questions, feel free to uh, drop them down below. <laughs> Eddie Morales for the first comedy says, USA soccer owns Mexico 2-0 right now. Well, well, well the, sky, the sky is blue and the grass is green. We know USA is better than Mexico at soccer. Mexico is not that good at soccer. They're, they're better at baseball. You know, but uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of interesting things uh happening in our sport right now. I know um, I was on Twitter earlier and I saw that they people were saying that Raymond Ford was on the Saudi car with Nick Ball, and Aaron before it said no, he's not on the Saudi car with Nick Ball, and that apparently he's fighting on the Shakur Stevenson card in June in in New Jersey. So now there's all these rumors about him going to top rank. So we'll see how that goes. But there's been there's been all kinds of stuff happening today. But uh. What's the word, guys? I'm, uh, this may be a short live, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I really don't even want to be live right now. I'm just, but I told you guys I'd give you ninety days. So who cares what I want? Be be professional. Um, let's see what else we got. What else we got in boxer right now? Thank God! Thank thank God! Right? Thank God! The boxing is about to like have a bunch of fights coming up because it's been ridiculous. It's been ridiculous these last two weeks. You know, there ain't been a ton going on. I did see this, though. One thing, one, one thing I did see that, that I'll bring up to you guys. I thought it was quite interesting. So, Virgil Ortiz has a fight date. Um, he'll be on the undercard. I forgot the date right now. But Jose Ramirez is fighting Rancis Bartholomew soon. And on the undercard of that, Virgil Ortiz is fighting Thomas Delorme. So, because the Golden Boy set the bar so low for Virgil's last opponent with Frederick Lawson. This is actually a step up fight, but it's still like not what you want to see if you're if you're someone who likes Virgil Ortiz and is interested in what he has going on with his career. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's not that kind of a fight. So um what what it, that's my thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts about Virgil Ortiz, I guess now supposedly fighting Thomas Delorme? Because I I think it's ridiculous. Have you seen the Roller House movie? No I haven't. Robert Sanchez says, Raymond Ford don't want no smoke with Oshaki Foster. That, from what I was reading, that's who we might wind up fighting on that card. So we'll see how it goes, man. I'm, I'm excited to see Raymond Ford uh, and how he how he builds off the older Beck Komatov fight. I really feel like it's a good thing that he won that title. But man, he, he, he set the bar so high for exciting fights that I, I'm not sure how he's ever going to top that again. So uh, we'll see what happens with Ford. You, know, you got you got Eddie Hearn and Dalton Smith, um, calling out Adam Azim, cause they're the, Dalton, Dalton Smith technically the mandatory challenger. You know, um, he's the mandatory challenger, and um, they're gonna put Adam Azim in a in a position where he might have to vacate that belt. So we'll see. Uh, hockey says. You look a little bit tired and ready to go to sleep after live. Thanks for your commitment. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm spent. I'm a little spent. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm very. Fr I'm so excited that honestly, hockey that Wednesday I'm going to Arizona because I feel like when I come when I, when I, whenever I'm home in South Florida, I, I, everything's just so slow. I feel like I I work slower. Everything's just slow. So now that I'm going back out west, I feel like I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna speed up now, which is good. So it I, it'll be good for me. It'll be good for you. It'll be good for everybody. So um, yeah, I'm a little I'm a little tired right now, but uh, we're here. You know, had a had a had a pretty chill day today. Went to the gym, worked out, watched the Panthers. But I'm just tired from life. Life. I mean, there's other things too 
uh, boxing related, but I can't really speak about them here. I gotta keep those things under wraps. I gotta, I gotta keep some things that I got going on in boxing under wraps. But you know, a lot, a lot of stuff going on, man. A lot of interesting stuff. Ray Earl says, "I appreciate your hard work, PT. Thank you, man. Uh, I, I appreciate. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to be here, and I appreciate being appreciated. So to show my appreciation, ask me y'all, ask me whatever y'all want. Boxing, non-boxing." It's a Sunday. It's a chill Sunday. So, you know, and, and it's not like there's all these great things going on. It, it, there's not a ton going on in our sport. I, I'm trying to make it sound like there is a lot going on in boxing, but there really isn't a lot going on in boxing. So I'm trying to just fuck it. You know, there's 90 days of boxing. You can ask me whatever you want about boxing, but it don't got to be box related. We can chill for a little bit. Zhang and Wilder. It's a really good fight. Um, I like Zhang in that fight only because I feel like Zhang has more of an identity. You know, I don't feel confident picking either one of them. But, you know, with Deontay Wilder, kind of... Malik Scott's got Deontay Wilder boxing like he used to box. And that's not that, that doesn't work for Deontay Wilder, as he saw in the Joseph Parker fight. So, um, I think Mark Breland had it right all along. Let him be windmill Wilder. Let him gunsling and do what he's got to do. And, you know, it worked. And now, he, now, now, he, now he's a little too proper. So... Um, I'm going to go with Zhang for that reason, but I'm not really confident in Zhang because as I've said many times, and I'll say it again, it doesn't matter who he fights. It doesn't matter who Zhang fights. Four or five rounds, inevitably he will start blowing out of his ass and it um, could happen against Wilder. So it's anybody's fight. Ray says, uh, bro, Campbell Hatton is a hype job. I'm glad I won money off of him losing. How much did you win? I was mad about Thurman pulling out, but Fandura versus Tim might be a good fight. I think Fandura versus Tim is going to be a, a beat. I think Tim's going to beat the brakes off of uh, Fandura, honestly. But a lot of people are giving Fandura a chance. I mean, I like Fandura. I think he's going to bring the fight for as long as it lasts. But I just think, you know, with him being so tall and routinely, routinely giving up his size, Tim's going to chop that body up. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But I, I hope it's a good fight because I'll be there. Champ. The Panthers got to make a goalie change behind that. They had the Rangers beat. Yeah, it was a tough game last night, but they but they responded pretty good today. They 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 beat they beat the Brakes off the Flyers four one. So we're tied for first in the East again. Tuesday night I'll be uh Tuesday night I'll be I'll be at the at the Panthers Bruins game. I'll be I'll be at that game. One of the biggest games in hockey. I'll be there, so I can't wait. Um, I don't think we need to change our goalie. I feel like the 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 goal of the Rangers scored to tie the game up. It was very much a uh, bad break and we played well we got, we, we got a point despite the fact that we're missing half our defensemen and our best player and alexander barkov so the rangers are trash that 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 game exposed more than anything that the new york rangers are straight trash they paid, they played the panthers b team and, and, and went life and death with them so uh, that, that's all i learned from that game wilder seems very gun shy if jane comes in under 290 wilder is doomed yeah and, and that's what i'm saying if we get the in shape determined Zhang, um that guy's gonna beat wilder because wilder is is uh i think he's ready to go i i, I really I, I thought for a while that that he's been ready to go and i feel like if Zhang come in focus he come in any shape if he gets whatever he did for the philip hergovich fight when he came in at what was it like 270 something coming at that weight we get that Zhang back wilder's getting the brakes beating off of him, honestly. But I'm not. I'm not writing him off. It's just that Wilder boxing this outside style with Malik Scott. It's just. It's not giving me a reason to be confident in him. You know, let 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 him be who he is. Stop trying to make him a more regimented, technical fighter. It's too late in the ball game for that. That is not what he is. The Panthers are tough. Yeah. Um. That, that that's exactly what's happening. We're definitely winning the Stanley Cup, no doubt about it. This year, this is this is finally the year I've been waiting on my entire life where the Panthers lift the Stanley Cup, and I'm probably gonna cry. I'm I'm definitely gonna cry. It's gonna be one of the top five greatest days of my life. The Rangers the, the Rangers are a good team, but I think they're a little overrated. Honestly, I, I I don't think they got the forwards. They got a great goalie in Shesterkin, but they don't they don't got the forwards. Their uh, their forwards aren't on the level of the Panthers or Boston Bruins, in my opinion. So for me, in my eyes, they're like the third, maybe even the fourth best team in the East. But that's just, that's that's my opinion, you know. 
Uh, kind of how the it's kind of ironic. And shout out to Alex. Good, good to see you, Alex. He says it's kind of ironic how the fighters who are always getting injured and haven't fought haven't fought in years both pulled out of their fights. Keith and Manuel Char. Yeah, well, that, 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 I, I made that point here a couple of times, Alex. Recently, I, I, I've said that when you're not match fit and you're not you know going through the grind of a training camp and your body's not. You know, you're not fighting. You're more prone to injuries, and, and 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 the more inactivity you have, I feel like the more chances of you pulling out if you have been inactive. So, um, you're definitely on something. You're, you're you're repeating a point that I made a couple times recently. So, yeah, man. Hope all is well, Alex. Ray says, "Damn, fourth. Yeah, no, the Rangers are a good team, man. I like them. I I feel like on their night they can be anybody, but 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 I just feel like." You know, I'll tell I'll tell you the order. I'll tell you the exact order of, of who I think the best team in the East are: Panthers, Boston Bruins, and P unpopular opinion, but I, I I still think I still think that the Tampa Bay Lightning are better than the Rangers. You know, and then um, maybe Carolina, but no, I think the Rangers are better than Carolina. So I would say the Panthers, the Bruins, and the Tampa Bay Lightning, all better than the Rangers. Uh, inactivity is the worst thing ever for a fighter. Crawford will be out a year soon. Yeah, I mean, but look, it, it's it's um, it's the culture we're in in boxing. A lot of these guys that get to the top, they like Crawford is being told that he can do whatever he wants because he's accomplished enough. And I, nobody's answered my question. I I asked this the other night. I asked this the other night on the Canelo Live. I said, when exactly does a fighter earn the right to pick and choose whoever they want to fight? Because I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a set criteria for that. I normally ever only ever hear that when a fighter who is more advanced in age is pushed to fight a guy who is on the come up, and people don't want to see the guy on the come up get the fight against the guy who's more established. So when exactly, when exactly does a fighter earn the right to pick and choose what they want to do? Somebody answer that for me. We 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 need to set we we need to start setting some criteria in boxing. Honestly, are you watching the Shig Yoga Brothers next Sunday? Um, I'll try to. I mean, next Sunday. I'll, next Sunday, I'll be in. Where will I be next Sunday? Next Sunday, I will be in. I'll be in Las Vegas. So I'll, I'll definitely try. And if I don't get a chance to watch it, I'll definitely catch the fight. I'll catch the highlights and do a video about it. Raw Dog says when they're filthy rich. So Ryan Garcia can pick and choose what he wants to do because he's rich. He's got money. Can Ryan Garcia pick and choose or, or uh, let me know. <laughs> uh, shout out to David Esther with the, with the $5 super chat. He says, Virgil Ortiz is getting ready to cherry pick another. A, a Boots Ennis first round knockout victim. Yeah, yeah, uh, David. I, I seen that. He's fighting Thomas Delorme. Um... I'll tell you, man. I love Virgil Ortiz to death, but man, the hold on. But Golden Boy Promotions, their their matchmaking form or lack thereof, has been absolutely shambolic. I mean, Thomas Delorme, is that what we're doing now? Like we're gonna baby Virgil Ortiz? Like y'all y'all signed Charles Conwell? Could you could you could you at least do the bare minimum of matching up with Charles Conwell? Like, give me a freaking break. The Killer Bees versus the Panthers is, is, is a playoff preview. Yeah, it is. It could be. It, yeah, it is a playoff preview. You know, two two of the best teams in hockey. Oh, I can't wait. I'm 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 counting down the, the the minutes and the hours to when I'll be there. I say after more than three straight step up fights in a row or top fights in a row. Okay. So does uh does Nicholas Flaus get a pick and shoot? Does does Nicholas Flaus? Get to pick and choose whatever he wants to do because he had three step up fights in a row, all as an underdog, and he won them all. So can he can he get a cherry the next fight, or is that is that only applicable to guys with titles? Like I wanna I wanna set a criteria here on True School Sports so, so that when people start saying that I can hold people to a criteria because I I always hear people people like cherry pick that. Blame Rick BT. It probably it is Rick's fault. Rick Rick booked Lawson, and now Rick booked um. Rick booked Rick probably booked this too. Ray wants to know what is your day job, BT? You get you got you get money. LOL. I don't. This is it, man. Just boxing, man. I've 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 been very smart with my money, 
that I made off YouTube. So I haven't had to work a regular job in years, um, and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm doing pretty good now. So I can't I can't complain. But I'll tell you this: I I can't really say too much because, like I said, some things gotta stay personal until it's time to reveal. But I got some other things going on in boxing that, that there are some other things that are going on in boxing with me that are not YouTube related that uh, are, are the reason why I'm feeling a little tired, you know, a little drained. And I'll just leave it at that. When, when it comes time to talk about it, I'll talk about it. Shout out to my guy, Edward. Good to see you, champ, with the, with the $10 super chat. I appreciate you. He says, I hope this finds you well. Me and my nephew will be watching. I heard Ryan Garcia is a fish and he is losing money in poker rooms in California and Nevada. Yeah, Ryan Garcia, he's a lot like Bruno Mars. He's a lot like Michael Jordan. He's a lot like Shohei Otani. He's a degenerate. He has the reputation for, for being a degenerate gambler. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't know anything about his gambling um, problems. I just only, I've only heard about it. I've only seen him. I, I know he competed on the World Series of Poker. I know he's tweeted about his, uh, his gambling competitions and things like that. So, uh, look, man, I hope, I hope he goes ahead and he, uh, he makes it happen. I hope he, I hope he goes ahead and makes it happen. I, I hope I hope he goes ahead and he gets that solved. If he's got gambling problems, I hope he gets it solved. Anybody who's got vices in life, I don't care if it's gambling, addictions, sex addictions, any sort of addictions, drug addictions. I hope anybody um uh, goes ahead and um gets their their vices solved because it's tough and we we all we're all dealing with something. You know, we're all fighting a spiritual battle here in this world. You know, and living li living in this world can be a struggle from day to day. So that's why you gotta. Put your faith in the man above. And, that, and that's what we're doing here on True School Sports. Uh, Swear Strickland wants to know, are you being sued? No, I'm, I'm not being sued. Um, I'm, I'm very much not being sued at all. I've been threatened. Uh, now I'll tell you guys this. I've been threatened on two occasions to be sued. But neither one of them had the balls to actually sue me. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But uh, no, I'm not being sued. He has a kid. Who has a kid? BT doing the hard yards. Good stuff, mate. Yeah, man. I'm doing a, I'm doing a lot of things right now. That's why, I like, don't don't get it twisted. I've been disciplined with these lives. I, I I'm a little. I, I've been wanting to put out more content. I just had other things in boxing that have been getting my attention that have nothing to do with YouTube. So, um, you'll hear about it soon. When it, when the time is right, you guys will hear about it. Um. Do I have a kid? No, I don't. I don't have a kid yet. Um, I'd like one, but I don't have. I don't have one yet. Uh, hopefully, in the near future, you know, we'll see. We'll see what God. We'll see what God has in store. But um, Swear Strickland wants to know. Do you know the Christian song "Above All"? Yeah, I think I do. What does it say? Crucified. Above all, something, something. <laughs> I forgot how it went, but it's, it's something like that. Um, shout out to everyone here. Good to see you. Uh, we see we got Ernie V. Salute to you, champ. Good to see you. And by the way, look, we got 20 people here. Guys, do me a favor, please. We're here on day 65, still going strong, even though I'm burnt out, even though I'm tired, even though I had all these voices up ahead saying, BT, give up. BT, quit. BT, don't go live. BT, get your rest. I said, No. Said no, I gotta, I gotta do what I said I was gonna do. I gotta be professional. So, smash that like button so that, so that YouTube pushes it out to the algorithms. You know. Shout out to Hyro. He says, above all powers, above all kings. <laughs> oh, shit. good to see you, Hyro. We need the picks for the parlay this weekend. So, what, 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 what fights do we got? Um, I forgot. We got well. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna go with Sinisa. I'll go with Sinisa over Valle. Well, I know you got Valdez Wilson. I don't. I don't know what the odds are, but I'll, I'll actually go with Liam on that one, and then I'll go with Zoo. And Gotti TV. I'm pretty sure that's my guy. I could be wrong, but I think that's my guy John from Upstate New York. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but good to see you in Gotti TV. Hope all is well. 
I'm glad you're still doing the lives. Keep it up. Yeah, man. I'm listen, even against my own will, even against like everything my mind is telling me, I'm I'm still gonna do the lives. And um hopefully before I go to Arizona on Wednesday, you know, I can I can finally get into a rhythm with um just the videos, man. I I, I really feel like these last two weeks I just been like I guess it's been it's been difficult. It's been tough, but Nonetheless, we we're still here and we're still kicking. Um, Hiro says boxing is officially back. Al Heyman is gonna make American American boxing back again. I know you're excited to go to Vegas. I, I am excited to go to Vegas, uh, Hiro, for Eddie Hearn, baby. I'm excited to go for Eddie Hearn, <laughs> for Diego Pacheco, your favorite fighter. Now I'm excited for um. I'm excited about Tim Zhu versus Fundora. That's, that's, that's a great fight. I'm excited about... Um, I'm definitely excited about Brian Mendoza, Boa Chuck. That, that's the real fight I'm excited for, if you want to know the truth. Like, Fundora, Zhu, awesome fight. Um, Mendoza, or uh, Roley versus Pitbull Cruz, awesome fight. But the fight that's getting me, like, getting my juices uh, flowing is that Mendoza, Boa Chuck fight. Good to see you, John. I, I I thought so. I got your message. I still I, I still gotta watch your amateur fight. I'm I'm gonna watch it. And when I watch it, I'm, I'm gonna get back to you on Instagram, uh, John. But good to see you. He says, "Is it true that Benavides Vosnik is the is on the tank Martin undercard as the co-main?" Uh, that's what I've been hearing. Um, Benavides is down here in Miami right now, and the gym that I train at here in Miami, there's a there's a there's a guy at the gym whose son goes to where Benavides trains, and they were talking to Benavides, and he was told that that's what's happening so that you know take it for what it take it for what it's worth but yeah uh, from what i've been told and from what i've been hearing not just from that guy but other people in boxing that's gonna be the next fight so good fight you know benavidez is the heavyweight debut taking on the former lineal light heavyweight champion and the former wbo champion in vosic i mean you could do a lot worse so uh, i'm excited about it i've been waiting for benavidez to be a light heavyweight for a number of years now so i'm glad that it's here Is it true that oh my, I read that already? Uh, Fundora is getting destroyed. Yes, sir. How hungry is Fundora gonna be for this win? Um, I think he's gonna be very hungry for it. I, I, I would I would have to think that with him getting a unification title shot against Tim Zhu, coming off a loss, he, you know, a lot of people, myself included, are writing him off, and it's crazy how like timing and boxing is such a real thing because, you know, let's have it right, like before. Before Tim Zhu fought Tony Harrison, this is a fight that people wanted to see him in, and they decided to fight Tony Harrison instead. So, you know, now that what's happened to Fundura has happened, and how Tim Zhu showed what he could do, um, that's why it, that, that that that's why the perception is how it is. But um, I think it'll be if listen, he may not win the fight. It may it may not even be competitive, but it's going to be a fight where at minimum. Fundora is going to come to win. That that much I do think is certain. James Valdez, good to see you, champ. Rocha versus Lawson. Rocha and Lawson. The two, yeah, man. Rocha and Lawson, the, the, the champs. <laughs> You're funny, David. James, good to see you, champ. San Antonio in the building. Good Shout out, shout out to the whole San Antonio. The 210. 210. Uh, M-E-Z-B-X, good to see you, champ. Uh, Virgil Ortiz fighting Delorme on Jose Ramirez on the card is a joke. And you know what's crazy? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it right, you know? I was I was in Vegas for like a month. I was at Bowen's Adams Gym a lot. And so I was seeing Rance Bartholomew a lot. I like I like Rance Bartholomew. Like, we go back some years, me and Rance. I, Rance Bartholomew was actually one of the first ever boxers I interviewed on, on like a video call. I interviewed him back in the day on Google Hangout before they had StreamYard. Back when YouTube used to have Google Hangout, I interviewed Rancis Bartholomew on Google Hangout. So I like Rancis, but Rancis has passed it. And Rancis has seen better days. And man, Jose Ramirez is really fishing at the bottom of the barrel, you know, as far as the guys at 40. Um, we'll see. It's, 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 it's not a fight that I'm excited about, but like, you know, Jose Ramirez and Rick Morgan are doing what they can to protect him and make sure that he continues winning and getting back in, into, into the title picture. Bartholomew is a former champion, so and he's a name, but we know that he's seen better days. And and I'm pretty sure they're gonna fight like in Fresno, so everything will be stacked in Jose's favor. Brian 
Virgil Ortiz is fighting the Lomi. Yeah, read that already. Uh, my man John says, and Gotti TV says, I would love to see Morel versus Plant. That's a good fight, man. And Morel. Morel, versus, hey, Morel needs to get a fight. Needs to get a fight against somebody because he's everyone's bitching and mourning about Benavidez not getting the Canelo fight, but nobody cares about Morel. Nobody cares about him not getting no opportunity. So we'll see how it goes. I, I, the, the rumors that was that was that was uh, floating around was that he's gonna fight Demetrius Andre, which for me is like I don't want to see it. You know, I, I, I'm still a Demetrius Andre fan. But I don't, I'm not. I'm not too confident in about his chances in that one. Um, Moreau ha only has nine fights. Nobody cares about him. I know, but like they should care about him. He's one of the brightest young talents in boxing. They, everyone should care about Dave Moreau. They don't care about him because he's freaking. He's not British. He's not Japanese, and he's not Mexican. Boo Boo was the boogeyman, and then overnight he wasn't. He was the boogeyman at 160 and 154. 68, he's pushing it a bit, but um I I don't I, like like I, I, I don't even know what I could like if I had to tell Andrew what to do what to do next or who to fight next, I couldn't even tell you because I don't think him being at 68 is a good idea, you know? Um I hope he can pull it off against Morel if he fights him. I really do. But uh the outlook from my side of things is bleak. Now look, I don't think he's ever fought. Um, I don't think he's ever. I don't think Morel's ever fought anybody as skilled as as Andre. So I mean, with his pedigree, so that that that's probably the one thing I can cling on to. But I don't want to see it. I mean, I I really don't want to see it. So, Hyro says BT loves silver and gold, but he don't know the damn song. What are you talking about, Hyro? What what song? Shout out to everybody here. It's your boy BT. 90 days of boxing. Day 65. Haven't missed a day yet. Come hell or high water. Good, bad, or indifferent. Making it happen. Being professional. Do I got a Roley Cruz prediction? I really want Roley to win that fight so badly. I really do. But I'm gonna I'm actually gonna lean towards Isak Cruz. I've been going back and forth. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean towards Isak Cruz by decision. Uh, workmanlike decision. So hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that means Willie wins. So if Virgil is fighting Delorme after the WBA ordered him to fight Majumov. Does that mean the WBA will move on? Um, that's what they should do. They, that's what they should do. Who who knows? A lot of times, the managers and the sanctioning body presidents or Rankings committing people, they can work out a deal. So maybe they, who knows? But that's what they should do, and they should let they should let somebody else get a shot. Let me see who, who, who else could uh get the shot if 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 they move on from Virgil, who gets the shot? Yeah, Howard, you you love you some um, you love you some Dan Morel. Let's see, I want to see you. Let's check these rankings. So at 54, oh my God, I never even heard of this guy. So after Virgil Ortiz, uh, I'll show you guys right here, look. So look, after Virgil Ortiz, I don't know if y'all can see, but look. Hold on. Hold on, let me show you. So Abbas Baru, whoever this guy is, he's ranked number four. He's he's at the Virgil. So if they move on, that's who's next in line. So let's let's look up. Who the hell is Abbas Baro? Or what? Let me see. So he's a German, German fighter, bronze medalist at the World Championships, gold medal at at, at, the, at the European Championships. So th this is who's next in line. Hold on, Let me go to his box rack. I want to see. Who the hell is this dude? Abbas Barrow. You, you, do y'all know anything about Abbas Barrow? Because if the WBA actually was fair and moves on in the rankings, this is the guy ranked right behind Virgil for Majimov. So let me see. Oh my God. So he won a majority decision against Sam Eggington. Okay. Who did he lose to? 
and he lost a split decision to Jack Colke. So his level has already been kind of exposed in boxing. And I, I, you know, look, if you're getting majority, you know, decisions with Sam Eggington, I'm not, you're, you're, uh, I'm not, I'm not too encouraged about you being Majumov, just being honest. So hopefully, that's not who uh, they let fight. But look, if we're being fair, he he deserves a shot because he's next in the rankings. Five, you got Erickson Lubin. Six, you got James Metcalf. Yeah, it's not. It's not, the WBA rankings aren't that great. So not 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 a lot as far as big fights or. Intriguing matchups. Swear Strickland says, I love Christian music, but I'm not a fan of that white, bougie, hipster Christian music. <laughs> Talk to him, man. Tell him. To be fair, Virgil does deserve another tune-up, but at least make it somewhat of a fight. Yeah, DeLorme is going to get freaking iced. Hopefully, I mean, I like DeLorme. He was a good. He's a good fighter. He comes to fight, but it's not really what I wanted to hear. To be honest with you, uh, this is why boxing loses fans. The whole, the whole, the whole business is broken. Honestly, the whole. And you know, look, I'm not gonna. What I'll say is this: um, you know, at all levels of boxing, there's there's some there's all kinds of messed up things going on. Like sometimes you even, you 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 even get to a stage where, you know. Fighters are fighting sixth rounders, non-title fights, and they want to drain fighters in non-title fights. Bro, why not just do a catch fight? Why, why not just make it at a weight that, that's appropriate, you know? So there's all kinds of foolishness that goes on in boxing from all sides, on all levels, and, and that's why boxing loses fans. It's, it's, it's all a domino effect. Tim versus Virgil is a train wreck. What are your thoughts on that fight? I love that fight. I think that's a fight that boxing should be looking to make. Um... I'm hoping if if, if, Vir, if Virgil takes care of business against Delorme, I'm really hoping that the next step after this is him to for him to fight Charles Conwell. Like give give us like y'all just signed Charles Conwell, get, do us a solid. Like at least just give us a Charles Conwell fight. Do that much for us, Golden Boy. It's so funny that everybody went crazy when they saw the height advantage Pandora has. He looks like he looks like this standing across from most opponents. Yeah, I mean, look, the thing is, again, he has all that height. He has all that reach. What good is having that, um, that height and that reach if you, don't know, if, if you don't box tall? He likes to get on the inside. He likes to be in the pocket. Leaves his chin in the air, you know? So, I don't get I mean, I used to go crazy about the height of Fundora, but it's not anything I really marvel at anymore because he can't box tall. I don't think Conwell is all that, but he's good. I think Conwell is a better opponent than Frederick Lawson and Thomas Delorme. So, and Golden Boy just signed them, and he's number one in the WBC. So, that's a fight they need to make. Um, the Queensbury versus Matchroom possible matchups look good. Zhang Wilder, Hergovich, Dubois, Ford Ball, Ammo, Shiraz. These are possible, but obviously they might not be surprised. Well, Ford versus Ball is not happening. Ra Ra Raymond Ford came out today. And already said that he's not fighting Nick Ball on that card. He actually said that he's fighting on the Shakur Stevenson card in New Jersey, the top ranked card. So, what's my second passion after boxing? Uh, the Florida Panthers and my and the Marlins. You know, my two favorite sports teams. Um, yeah, that that for sure. The Panthers, Florida Panthers, in hockey. My Marlins and baseball, those are my two passions, you know? When I'm not doing this, when I'm not covering boxing, um, I'm definitely going to Panthers and Marlins games. Now, I'm not really too excited about baseball season this year because the Marlins didn't do shit to get me excited. They didn't sign nobody. But the Panthers, the cup is coming home, and I'll, I'll be there on Tuesday night. I've already been to, like, this, this, this will even be my sixth Panthers game this year. And I'll probably go to like a couple playoff games too. So by the time I go to all these games, I'll probably have gone to like 10 or 11 games this year. You know, that, and, that, and, that, and that's something me and my dad have been doing faithfully since I was seven. So I've been a fan for 22 years. And I've been a Marlins fan for what? 25 years. So those, those are my two passions. BT, Virgil is, uh, Virgil is being protected and Virgil is okay with it. It's a shame. 
Well, I don't know if Virgil's okay with it. A lot of times fighters aren't okay with it, but they they just they fight the fights in front of them. They gotta trust their management. Um, it's unfortunate. I I I really do feel like Virgil Ortiz is getting shortchanged here with, when in the matchmaking department, cause him beating up Delorme proves nothing. Hyrule says, "For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them." Ephesians two ten. Yes, sir. Shout out, shout out to you, Harold, preaching, the, preaching the, the the good word. Enrique Luna says, "Tokyo baseball. I love, I love Japanese baseball. My favorite, my favorite Japanese baseball team is the Oryx Buffaloes. Shout out to the Buffaloes. I can't wait to go to Japan and go watch the Buffaloes play at the Kiyosara Dome." Um. I rewatched the Boots Karen fight, and I and I think if they made Spence and Karen, Spence would look like a novice and get schooled. Just a thought. Well, you won't have to worry too much about it. Spence ain't gonna fight no damn Karen. <laughs> Spence may not fight. Period. Spence is too busy living his best life. He in Jamaica. He in Belize. He he on the islands. He chilling. You know you don't you don't need boxing. He got what he needed. He got cataract surgery on his eye. He got his ranch. He got his horses. Don't worry about that. We need a bum boxing tournament. I would pay to watch the Super Six of, of bums. Well, I don't. I don't like calling fighters bums. Um, I would like to see a tournament where we. Uh, I want journeyman. I want. I want to see journeyman. I want to see a Super Six for journeyman. We'll call it the ultimate journeyman. You know they got the ultimate fighter. We'll call it the the ultimate journeyman. I want to see six journeymen. They gotta have at least. They gotta have at least ten losses. Ten losses or more, and I want to see six of them, all in ten round, ten or twelve rounders. And then the winner of that fight, the winner of that tournament should get ranked like top ten in one of the sanctioning bodies. How about that? How how's that? How's that for an idea? Supposedly Jojo Diaz versus Oscar Duarte is gonna be on that Virgil Ortiz card. Probably gonna be the most competitive. Oh my god! That's, why is why is Jojo Diaz getting a fight? I, I would I, I respect to Jojo, but like. I was there at the Commerce Casino in California last month when when he got when he lost to Jesus Perez. What 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 are we doing? What 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 are we doing? Hannah Shrivall says, "Get to work, BT, and make it." I'm all down. You know what? I, I might I might need to go to one of these conventions and suggest that tell tell one of the sanctioning bodies to to set up a six man tournament. I want I want a six man. Journeyman tournament, they gotta have ten losses or more. Winner of the tournament gets an automatic top ten ranking. How about that? Spice things up in boxing. Stop, stop, stop kissing ass the A side so much. It's crazy, man. Cause I, apart from, apart from true school sports, I mean, I, I got so many things to get to work to in boxing, man. God's put some big responsibilities on my hand in in the sport of boxing. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. It's ridiculous. Um, what's going on with Stanionis? Did he quit boxing after the Virgil cancellations? Um, from what I've heard, uh, he hasn't quit, but you know he's definitely just a little bit um disgruntled with everything. I don't know. Think through tactical. It says, uh, tapping in to say, day 65, let's go. You got this, BT. Much love from Texas. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, day 65, we're here. We're kicking. Thank thank God. Uh, I'm, I, I think today is the end of this very slow stretch in boxing where there's not a lot going on. And things are going to pick up here uh, this week and the week after. So I'm really, really excited. Did you see the guy Michael Hunter just fought? SMH? It's a shame how this guy's career has gone. After the Povetkin fight, terrible management. Oh yeah, man. I I remember when I I'll, I'll never forget in January 2022 when I got into an argument with one of his ex managers who didn't know shit about boxing. Some some Polish dude. Um, yeah, man. Michael Hunter, Michael Hunter's career is 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 a classic case of what not to do. You know, um, I've got all these aspirations of one day becoming a boxing manager. And Michael Hunter's career is an example of what not to do. You know, he's he's one of the careers I used. When I when I when I when I want to look at what not to do from a managerial standpoint. Yeah, Virgil Virgil Ortiz is again with true school consultation. That's right, that's right. Uh, I, I I like how you remember that, Eddie. My dad, 
True school consultation. Virgil Ortiz has a lot of fanboys and they're annoying. Does he? I know he's got a lot of fans. He sells tickets, but does he, does he got a lot of fanboys? I mean, I haven't really encountered many Virgil Ortiz fanboys. I know he's got a lot of fans, but like, I, I don't know any like delusional fanboys. Like, I don't know any Virgil Ortiz that act like Canelo fans, so I can't, I can't sit here and say that I, um, I know them. What do they say to you, David? What do the Virgil Ortiz fans say to you um, about what are fanboy comments they make? Boots Ennis has a lot of fanboys. Listen, all these guys that get pushed down our throats as far as exposure have fanboys. Um, BT, please interview him or Taya and ask him how uh, how was the pay to fight goes. I would love to talk to Raymond Murataya and, 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 and keep, Jesus, just, every time you see me, keep telling me that. So when, when I finally get to Arizona, I remember, just keep telling me. I'll be, I'll be there on Wednesday. Hyrule says, you can't wait to see those Japanese brothers fight. Um, nah, I, I mean, I'm not like over the moon about it. It'd be cool. I mean, the Shigyoka brothers, they're, they're, they're in good little fights, but... The only thing I really like can't wait for is the, is the NHL playoffs, if you, if you want the truth. The NHL playoffs, Angel Leo's fight, and uh, going to Japan. Those, those are the three things. The NHL playoffs, Angelo's fight, Japan. Those are the three things I, I can't wait for. But the show, the show, the Shigyoka brothers, they're cool. Um, the Virgil Ortiz fans claim Terrence Carr, Dr. Virgil, and I'm like, really? Look, I, I, I like I like Virgil and I like Terrence, but that did not happen. Uh, it was the other way around. Although I I, I would have loved to see Virgil fight Terrence. That, that would have been a great fight. But Rick Morrigan, Rick Morrigan had other plans. He had other plans for uh for good old Virgil. And God, he says, not nah, for Bivol Better BF. Oh, no, that's a great card. I'm very excited for that. But like they haven't they haven't ever like, I know June 1st is the, is the day they're saying, but, like, I had this thing where, like, if I don't officially see the fight poster with the date and the network on it, I don't 100% believe it. So that's why I, I didn't say that. But, yeah, if it, gets, if it gets finalized with all those fights they were saying on the undercard, yes, Bivol better be able to be another thing that I'm very excited about because you got that. That's a great fight. It's, it's, a, it's a significant fight for boxing. And then you got my boy Hergovich on the undercard. So, uh, yeah, man. My only thing with this, and I'm with Eddie on this one, God bless the Saudis. They're, they're trying their best, but man, they they need to learn the the art of pacing a card because there's just too much talking. I don't want to hear Ade Oladipo and DeZone talking up a storm after every fight. Get the fight done. Get the fighters out the ring, and within two or three minutes, start the next fight. Like those cards are dreadful to go to to, to watch. Hyro says, is this only box talk or anything goes? This, this, this is an anything goes. Anything goes live. So you all can ask whatever you want. I'm just, y'all see me. I'm, I'm laying up against my, my punching bag. So in my room. So you, um, you know, I'm a little tired. BT, what do you think of the Russian pendulum bounce style? What's the best counter for that style? Best counter for that style, I would say is either A, an aggressive counter puncher or B, someone that can make the aggressive Russian pendulum style uh, get on their back foot because apart from Bivol, most Russians who fight like that can't fight off their back foot too great. So I will say that. Um, Hyro said, would you ever date a Muslim woman? At least she won't cheat on you. I'm not answering that question. Um, I, 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 God bless the Muslims. I'm not, you're not getting me in trouble, Hyro. You know, we're not doing that. And that's a high road troll account. Um, I think Virgil have. I think I, I think a lot of fan Virgil fans from Texas also like Earl Spence naturally. Yeah, I, I would say so too. I I saw Virgil fight Maurice Hooker. I uh, was there at the Dickies Arena in Fort Worth, Texas, and yeah, they all like him. Hannah Street Vault says, "All women are the same." Ah, listen, man. I I used to think that way, and I think to a degree there's some there's some truth in that, but. Um, I'm embracing a more optimistic mentality these days. I, I feel like if you want to get, if I want to get what I want out of life, I can't be, I can't think that way. 
You know? So, God bless the women. I, lo I love women. Um, we only see the 10% of the real BT. Why, why, why you say that, Hyro? Why do you say that, man? Texas versus Ohio. Who really runs boxing? South Florida. How about that? that, that, that that's, that's the answer right there. South Florida. Yeah. We're going to go with South Florida. Because that's where Muhammad Ali trained. <laughs> Robert said, says, Harold makes you want to box and me too. I'll be wanting to fly on a plane out to the West and just to go and beat the brakes off of Harold sometimes. He be, he be talking that shit. I'm still shocked that Pete Pops did a rant on Williams Pitta and said that. <laughs> yeah, Pop. That Heineken. Pops was off the Heineken that night. Um, I promise you, BT, I make the chat late. You do. You do. I, I give you your props. Southern Cali runs boxing. They, they, they got a lot of great... Uh, gyms and talent and just overall boxing culture in Southern Cali. I'm looking forward to, you know, later on this year, uh, seeing more of Southern California, you know, going going to see like Wild Card Gym and going to Ten Goose Boxing again and and and, and going to Robert Garcia Boxing Gym. You know, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of things in Southern Cali I want to go see. And we're going to go see it. I feel like Hyro sits by his computer and uses all his mama's... Oh, man, he's, he's calling you a... He's 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 going he's going off on you, Hyro. John says, I, and Gotti TV says, I have a feeling that Munguia's volume punching is going to give Canelo some problems. I feel like it could, only because Canelo has gotten into his uh, a pattern ever since he turned pro, or ever since he uh, got to one sixty eight and started knocking these guys out. He's fallen in love with his power, and he's fought more in spurts. You know, gone gone are the days of those beautiful combination combination punches. We just see Canelo when he fought guys like James Kirkland. He don't fight that like that at 168. So Munguia will have his chances, but um, I also think Munguia's defense is extremely, extremely leaky, too leaky for an intelligent counter puncher like Canelo. And I think Canelo will find a way to beat him. So um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, it's a good fight. Murataya lives in my city, and my kids used to train at RGBA. Oh yeah, uh, tell me what, what what's it like, man? What's what's RGBA like? Um, that's one of the top gyms on my on my wish list to go to before the end of the year, and I'm definitely gonna go. I'm definitely gonna go to RGBA, God willing, by before I go to Japan, which will be before July or August. So. We're at the forty-eight minute mark, guys. So, you know, I'll make it. I'm, I'll make it an even hour, and I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get off. Get up off here. But, uh, you know, leave your comments down below. Smash that like button. You know, Julian Chu at Brick House in boxing in North Hollywood. Yeah, I've, I've I've seen so many things about Brick House boxing. I know, uh, Scrappy Ramirez. You know, we talk on Instagram periodically, and um, seems like a nice place to be. You know, I I, I know there's one girl that tr that trains there sometimes. You know. Uh, Raw Dog says that at RGBA, there are workhorses there, and it's infectious. That's that's good news, man. I, I'm looking forward to going there and seeing what it's like, you know, because uh, I've heard so many stories about RGBA over the years, and, you know, I've had, I've had friends that have trained there and heard great things about it. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a boxing nerd, so I, I always love to go to new gyms. You know, I've been blessed to go to a lot of gyms around the world and around the country. And I, 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 I want to see how it compares to some of the other great gym, the other, you know, great gyms I've gone to. Um, I won the Golden Gloves in Roswell, New Mexico today, but unfortunately it was because my opponent from the final pulled out. I'm not sure if he was sick or injured. I'm going to try to make it to, uh, make it two times in either Texas. Or, okay. Well, shout out to you, man. Keep, keep training hard. To all the amateur fighters that might be in the chat or that have, you know, that are training. Keep training hard. Stay diligent, man. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. So if you're not where you want to be, keep going. It's like me with this YouTube, man. I remember there was a time when I had zero subscribers. Then there was a time when I had 1,000. Then there was a time when I had 10,000. Then there was a time when I had 50,000. And now I'm at 73,000. And now it's like, man, 
when am I just gonna get be at a hundred thousand already? But we're gonna keep going because there will come a time we eventually get to hundred thousand. So much like me, you guys keep going. Come to Riverside, um, sleepy town, but we get we get all the criminals from LA. <laughs> it's what I hear. It's what I hear about Riverside. I'll definitely be in Riverside at R RGBA soon. God willing. Put Mike Tyson's gym in Saudi on your gym list, BT. Uh, I will. Um, I definitely will. Um, and who knows? Like, like, like I always tell you guys, who knows where this boxing journey takes us? You know, you may, you may catch me in Saudi really soon. We don't, we don't know. We don't know what, what, what happened next. So um, looking forward to it. That, 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 that's the exciting thing about this thing with boxing is like, um, as low as the lows could be, man, the highs I'd be feeling... Are the highest of highs, you know? So appreciate every step of the journey. Golden Gloves is going on in Indianapolis. Shout out to the fine folks in Indianapolis, the home of the home of the ghost, Frank Martin. That's where he's from. Indianapolis. By the way, by, by is there anybody in the chat, just out of curiosity, is, is there anybody in the chat that, that'll be at uh, Zoo Fundura or Valdez versus Liam Wilson, just, just out of curiosity. Because if there is, I'd love to meet with some of y'all. That's what the, that, that's, that's become one of my favorite things to do when I, when, I, when I leave South Florida, when I leave the friendly confines of South Florida and I get on the plane and I go somewhere. I love, I love meeting people randomly that uh, watch the channel because it's like, that, that shit's crazy to me. Terrell Ver Goucher versus Virgil made more sense. That would have been a good fight. Goucher, solid gatekeeper, gave Tim Zhu a hard fight. Perfect, per would have been perfect. You're trying to fight Tim Zhu, boom. That would have been a common opponent. Ex-US Olympian, but Golden Boy had other ideas. They had other plans. Let's see. MAW says, just tuning in, I need hands. What do you what do you mean by that, MA? What, what do you mean you need hands? But how is everybody, man? How's how's everybody's week, man? Talk to me. We here. We're all family here on the Untouchable. Especially for these lives. Yeah, at least Goucher is durable and so is Takashi Inoue. I like I, I like Takashi Inoue. Takashi Inoue always comes to fight. Or always gives people a good show, good fight. You never have to worry about. Takashi in a way cheating you as far as effort. Elijah Pierce and Jamie Vernon Marquez are gonna fight Friday on that the zone project show Friday. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta check that out, man. Um, Elijah Pierce is a friend of the program, and I li and I like Giovanni Marquez, so I gotta check that out. You know, definitely see uh how they look. MAW says just been listening in, can't type because I need my hands working, enjoying just listening. The oh, thank you, man. Um, hope hope your day at work is good, and I hope everybody's day at work is good, man. We all we all we're all working towards something. We're all working towards something. You know, I'm I'm working towards like four things at once right now in life, so. One of them is going well right now with True School Sports. The other one I can't tell you guys about. Well, two, two of them I can't tell you all about. And um, what was the other one? It's like three things, not four. It's like three things. So, Where, Where's everybody watching from, by the way? What, what city, what state, what continent are we watching from tonight? Where are you guys at? You, know, you guys know I'm in South Florida, the home of the 2024 Stanley Cup champion Florida Panthers. But where are you, where are you guys watching from, man? Let me know. Can we see True School Sports go to Church of Teeth and Lopez? Um, why not? It'd be great. You know, uh, Tio's cool. If you want to come to church, we can go to church. I need. I probably, probably should go to church, honestly. I ain't going to church in a hot minute. Fontana, California in the building. Shout out to Raw Dog out there in Fontana. Even Crowley in Boots isn't a good fight. Crowley was out on his feet against Ava Ramos, who was way past it. Yeah, man. Northern Territory, Australia. Okay, we got them. Hobbs, New Mexico. Shane Mosley is going to visit April 5th to 6th for a boxing. Shout out to Shane Mosley. I had a chance to meet Shane Mosley. I, I interviewed Shane Mosley 
2016 at Wild Card West Boxing Gym, but now it's called Churchill Downs, and now it's the Matchroom Boxing Gym. But back then it was called Wild Card West out there in Santa Monica. Shay Mosley, cool guy, you know, very respectful to me. But shout out, shout out to New Mexico, the home of the home of the soon to be two time two division champion Angel Leo. Yes, sir. I am watching from. I can't even I can't even pronounce that, so I'm not gonna butcher it. But, but my man Hockey is out there in Malaysia. Shout out to Malaysia. Yo, Hockey, get, dude, what's Malaysia like? I know I, I don't know a whole lot about Malaysia. I just know Manny Pacquiao fought there once. Is is Malaysia a nice country? What's what's Malaysia like? What, what, what's it like over there? Maybe I put it on my list. I've got like a list of five countries that I haven't been to yet that I want to go to. Maybe 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 Malaysia can be six. I got I got I got to do some homework on Malaysia because I, I see hockey here all the time, and I'm always talking about Malaysia because of him. So I, I might have to do some homework on homework on Malaysia. Yeah, I got a picture with Angel Leo a week after the phone fight while I was visiting when he while while I was visiting Albuquerque. Yeah, I actually remember when he told me he was going back to Albuquerque around that time. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah, he's a that's my guy, man. I think he's gonna really, really make another statement, a big time statement on Pro Box on April 10th. You know, can't can't wait. I'm like so happy that we're almost there, you know, to his fight. I forgive Crawford's behavior. Uh, uh, I forgive Crawford's behavior, behavior other than him hanging with Floyd. What's wrong with Floyd, man? Everyone hangs with Floyd. Inland Empire, Riverside, San Peregrino, and Lacroix drinking LA types. They think they were like you. You would think they're like Alabama. They drink a lot. The alcoholics. It's not it's not a good sign, man. It's not it's not a good sign for me. Floyd is terrible. Is Kai Jones an interview you would do just for the fun of it? Yes. If uh if I had a chance to interview Kai Jones just for the hell of it, even though he's not a boxer per se, I would I would definitely be uh I'd love to interview him. BT Haney versus Ryan will be a sea of empty seats. That's what it. That's what it looks like, um, judging by the map. But we'll see. I, I I think it'll be a good crowd. All right, Shinobi, sleep well. Thank you for stopping by. Live's gonna end soon anyway, so we appreciate you, champ. Keep training hard. Sleep well. Last two minutes, guys, and I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna get up on out of here, and then uh. Try to regroup for tomorrow, for hopefully for a better week. Not hopefully, definitely for a better week. Got a lot of run. Got a lot of errands. I got to run tomorrow. As we start our voyage toward the West Coast, our our, our 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 another voyage out west. Wednesday night. Malaysia is a tropical country. We think we have we we have lots of good food. And yeah, I pack you off on a tea say there. Yep. Well, look, I like tropical countries. I'm from South Florida, so I'm used to tropical areas. So who knows? Maybe one day we go to Malaysia. Edward says he'd buy tickets to Haney Garcia. I, you know, it's, it's a good fight. BT, don't don't duck the qu don't duck. You asked the question: How many fights until someone can fight a bum? Um, I think you were saying, I think your answer earlier was you said if they get three step up fights in a row and they win them. Uh, yeah, why not? I feel like if a fighter takes enough tough fights in a row, everyone's entitled to a can or a guy that's not on the level. If you're out here doing your job, putting in that pain, you know, fighting good live bodies, you're entitled to a can. I love Barroso versus Matias. I made a whole video about it uh, months ago. I would love to see Barroso versus Matias. Two two big punchers. Why not?
But guys, look, we're about to hit the, we're about to hit the hour mark. So on that note, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, thank you guys for keeping me company and getting me through an hour of a lie. Hopefully, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And um, this week will definitely be a better week here on True School Sports. More content, God willing, and um, take care of yourselves. Uh, pray for me as I pray for you guys. And um, like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes.